what what about overwhelm and stress management, how critical that is, because you could be doing probably everything right from a nutritional standpoint and even, you know, with the different supplements or medications that you take, the scans. But if you're living in massive overwhelm or stress, that's that's a trigger, I think, even to turn certain genes on potentially, I think. So what uh, what are your thoughts about that? Well, it's it's interesting because we have one word to describe all these different things. Stress does it describes that the dog, you know, went to the bathroom on the white rug or you had to go to the DMV and you forgot your paperwork. And or we use the word stress to define heart attack, the death of a loved one. It is the only word in the English language that has this massive undefined umbrella. And by thinking about it that way, we have to understand that our body's internal reaction to the stimulus is quite incredible. And when I say that, I mean things like increasing levels of workload, increasing um, just the burden of things over time. And what happens is, again, when we talk about stress, we're talking about high responsibility type things is that the body, and we see this all the time with uh, elite warfighters, is the body goes into somewhat of a sympathetic overdrive. And yes. what does that look like? And it doesn't turn off. There's a normal sympathetic and parasympathetic response that it's almost as if uh, an individual gets a trauma, and I use that word loosely, and the body continues in overdrive. Blood pressure goes up, heart rate goes up, inflammatory markers go up. 